Hey there, and welcome to Fat Daniel's Barbecue. Today we're going to be cooking up one of my vegetarian classics, Mediterranean inspired cheese and vegetable kebabs. They're really tasty and dead easy to do. So much so that I'm going to be cooking them on one of these, a disposable barbecue. So, let's fire her up, and while we wait for the coals to get to the right cooking temperature, we'll start getting everything ready to make those kebabs. We're going to need a good glug of olive oil, about a half a cupful, about a tablespoon of chopped fresh oregano leaves. If you can't get fresh, which I couldn't today, then dried is fine. Just reduce the quantity to about one and a half to two teaspoonfuls couple of cloves of garlic, some red onion, some sweet bell peppers, some courgette, some halloumi, or as Smokey Joe calls it, squeaky cheese, and some Fat Daniel's Dixie Dust for seasoning. So, first off, we don't need to worry about waiting for the coals. Let's just get a pan straight on the grill and add our oil. crushing our garlic. Our oregano. And leave them to get better acquainted. We're not trying to cook anything here, we're just warming everything through so that the oil takes on the flavor of the herbs and the garlic. While that's doing its thing, we'll cut our halloumi into cubes. About a half inch or so is good. Use your courgette as a guide. Well, there's a great smell coming off the oil in the pan now. So I'm gonna take the pan off the heat and let that rest for a while while I prep the rest of the vegetables. Cut the peppers and onions into squares of about the same size as the cubes of cheese. And the courgette into rounds of a similar thickness to your cheese cubes. And that's it, everything's ready. All we have to do now is place our ingredients onto the skewers and build our kebabs. I like to put a slice of pepper and a slice of onion and then either cheese or courgette and repeat. But feel free to use your imagination. Maybe add some mushrooms or some cherry tomatoes. Top tip here, if you're using flat metal skewers, everything should stay in place when it comes time to turn the kebabs. However, if you're using round skewers, as I am today, I find it's really useful to use two skewers per kebab so you don't wind up with that fiddly bit that won't turn with the rest of the kebab. Right, well it's been about 15 to 20 minutes since we lit the barbecue, so we should be about ready to cook. Before we do, we're gonna baste and season our kebabs. Thoroughly coat each kebab with the oil we infused earlier with garlic and oregano. This imparts flavor and helps to prevent sticking. And this is where the magic happens. Apply a little seasoning. Here you can see me using my Fat Daniel's Dixie Dust all-purpose seasoning. So, let's get these kebabs on the grill. Once your kebabs are on the grill, just leave them to cook. If you feel the need to keep turning them, resist. By all means keep an eye on them, but just leave your kebabs be and let them cook. If you look at the kebab from the side, you'll see how it cooks from the bottom up. Once the cheese is turning a nice golden brown colour on the bottom and the hard vegetables are starting to char, it's time to turn it over. Cook your kebabs for the same length of time on all sides and give them another light brush with the flavoured oil after each turn.
Mmm, now they look good. But I'm going to let them rest for a couple of three minutes before I tuck in so I don't burn my mouth. Remember, good things come to those who wait. Right, well these kebabs have been resting now for about five minutes. And I don't know about you, but I can't wait any longer. Let's give them a try. That's good, and definitely gets the Fat Daniel's seal of approval. Well, I'm going to leave you now so that I can enjoy this kebab. I hope you enjoy yours. See you next time at fatdaniels.co.uk Good food, good times. Fat Daniels.